Let's continue to work on our HTML5 based Android app. I'm Victor Campos. So I'm getting a little tired of still looking at the uh, the default phone gap icon here, this little uh, mascot. I want to have my own icon now. So how do we set that up? If we go to phonegap.com, we'll have a developer menu. And if we go to wiki, we'll have this um, documentation that'll help us. Under the second section, application development, phone gap, app icon sizes, this will tell us the sizes that we need for our icons. And we'll need several. And that's because Android devices come in several flavors, uh, dimensions and resolutions and such. So here it says, well, we'll need some icons of 96 uh, pixels square, so 96 by 96, 72, 48, and 36 pixels, and a, a nice big icon for the Android market, or Google Play as it's known now. So these are the different sizes that we need, and those sizes correspond with in Eclipse uh, on our Package Explorer. We've been inside the Assets folder all along, but now we need to do something outside of Assets folder. At the root, at the root of your project, you'll have a Res folder, Resources. If you open Resources, Res, you'll see Drawable, and then Drawable, HDPI, LDPI, MDPI, and XHDPI. These are the sizes that the documentation was telling us. XHDPI is this icon of 96 by 96 pixels icon.png and then uh, next level is 72 pixels which is HDPI and then MDPI is the 48 pixels and the LDPI is the 36 pixels we'll also need an icon in the drawable folder and that one is the 96 by 96 pixels so we know what dimensions we need we know where they need to go and next we need to get some sort of graphic software and design our icons. I can't quite help you there, but you'll need Photoshop or Illustrator or Microsoft Paint or anything you want to create your icons. I've got my icon here and I've already gone through the trouble of designing it and then exporting as the appropriate sized icons as per the documentation. So I've got the 36 by 36, 48, 72, 96. I've got the 512 saved as well. And one called logo PNG, which I'll talk about a little later, and my original working file. So um, the documentation recommends PNG files with transparency so that they can go on, on, an, on, on your screen and you'll see the wallpaper behind it. Now I've simply named these with these uh, names uh, for just to show you the different sizes but as we saw inside of Eclipse they actually will have the same name. Remember we had the drawable folder that was called icon PNG. We had drawable HDPI and that was icon PNG. And you see here that if I were to name all of these icon PNG I would have a conflict. So just for myself, I've named them the different sizes, but then I've also separated them and I'm ready to put them into my project and they've all got the right name. So we're going to do a little drag and drop. Uh, let me rearrange my windows a little bit here. I'm going to put Eclipse here. My icons there. I'm going to close a few folders in Eclipse here. I want to make my files visible like this so I'm gonna drag and drop icon PNG from the drawable folder into the drawable folder it'll ask what do you want to do copy your link we want to copy and replace and then I'll just go down down the line uh, next is HDPI I'll drop that into the HDPI folder copy replace so let me quickly get this done. Each of these will go into the appropriate folder. I've already got it planned out. That's the thing about this. Oops, that was my mistake. I dragged the whole folder uh, into 
LDPI and uh, okay I'm going to delete that all right so it was the icon inside into LDPI and replace and then MDPI into MDPI and then XHDPI into XHDPI and then okay so I've put all my icons into the right folder if I were to run this on my device I probably would not see a difference yet because technically we haven't made a change that Eclipse quite recognizes so we need to make some change anywhere in our project so that when we run this it'll be re-rendered and then we'll get the updated icons so just for the moment I'm gonna change anything in my project I'm going to add an exclamation point here under friends save it I'm gonna run it in my emulator wait for it to load up we still have that icon but we'll deal with that a little later if I go back to my home there's my icon I don't have that uh, that icon anymore I have my icon very nice and um, let's deal with getting that splash screen working properly uh, notice I also have in the index HTML file of phone gap uh, a reference to an index.css file which is inside of the assets www css file index there's a reference to the logo on line 50 image logo PNG and we've got a reference here that we need an icon of 170 by 200 so again in Photoshop I designed my icon actually I made this double the size that it's asking for I made my icon 435 by 512 if I make it a larger size it'll be crisper when I actually load it in my project so I've gone larger than what PhoneGap is recommending so I've saved that as logo.png within that same folder where I had all of my all of my icons and I need to drop that into the IMG folder in the www folder so I'm going to drop logo it's already it's got transparency into the image folder set it to replace of course again I need to change something in my code for phone gap to render it all so I'm going to remove that exclamation point uh, exclamation point here we go. I'm going to remove that exclamation point. Run this on my virtual device. There's my icon, but it's a little too large. So, so let's fix our issue here. At the moment, if we load the app we'll see that my new logo just doesn't quite work so here's how we'll fix it we need to write a little bit of CSS if we go back to the index.css file we'll see that the logo is defined as a background of a div so what we will do is add a new line and write background dash size colon 100 percent semicolon so now let's check what happens this should shrink down our image that was previously whatever size it wanted and it'll shrink down to a hundred percent the size of the container there we go it shrunk down now it's overlapping with my other text but at least now it's not such a large image is it 
So to fix that overlapping, notice we've got on line 58 uh, a padding, 180 pixels from the top. Image height is 200, the bottom 20 pixels are overlapping. With a little bit of trial and error, I found that at 250 pixels of padding at the top here will give us a good result. There we go. There's my logo. It's not overlapping. With my text, I can still tighten it up a little bit. Maybe instead of 250, I could do 225, something like that. But now we've got our application branded. We've got the icon. It looks great on a variety of devices. And we've got that splash screen. And so what we would need to do next is deal with um, the name. It's still called example in the list, isn't it? So come back to see how to change that.